News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Right now, more than 15,000 migrant children are in U.S. custody, many of them being held inside tent facilities like this one in Donna. Congressman Henry Cuellar releasing these pictures showing what it looks like inside. Dozens of teens crowded inside pods, sleeping on floor mats. The White House press secretary says this is the only humane option available right now for children, adding sending them back is not an option. Later this morning, Hidalgo County will be launching a vaccine registration system. Two people can be registered in one appointment. Once all slots are filled, the system will not accept any new appointments. We have a link to that website up right now at krgb.com. And the CDC updating their guidance on social distancing in the classroom. They say students can now be three feet apart instead of six. The recommendations on physical barriers also being dropped. An Edinburgh CISD official says they'll be staying at six feet until more students return. The Donna ISD superintendent saying we're going to stay as is because our plan has been working. For weather, you can expect it to be mostly or partly sunny with temperatures in the low 90s. That's your News in 60. Have a good one. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.